Uh, Congressman, uh, first of all, it's your birthday today, 48, and you got <laughs> to spend it with Eric Cantor, John Boehner, <laughs> President Obama, and now us. This is exactly how you dreamt it. it. If you, you had told me that four years ago, I would have said, no way. So, no, no way. I, I can tell that this meeting tonight was actually serious because not a lot of details are coming out. But tell us what you can. Tell us about the meeting, uh, the tenor, and what was discussed as much as you're able to. Well, first of all, we were very, thank you for having me on tonight, uh, all and of happy you. happy birthday. And thank you very much. <laughs> uh, you know, we were very optimistic uh, with the invitation uh, that we could go uh, and sit down with the president. So uh, as, we, as we went to the meeting, you know, we were, ho were hopeful uh, that we will be able to uh, begin discussions and have a conversation. You know, one of the things that, about what though about the debt about Obamacare. Well, look, when we when we we've been very clear that we wanted to uh, to extend the the debt ceiling. Uh, we also uh, we offered to to uh, appoint conferees uh, to begin a long term longer term budget uh, discussion uh, between uh, the conferees, but also to have a, a working group of individuals that would have a conversation uh, about um, uh, the budget. Uh, and about um, uh, issues facing our country, Some of, and, and, and to get the government back open. That, that was the, the impetus of, of our third request. And so we, you know, we outlined that before we went in uh, to the meeting, and that's basically what we talked about for the hour and a half that we were there, and, and it was received, I think, very well. So how do you get around the elephant in the room, which is the defunding of Obamacare, which is, is right there when you talk about opening the government mm -hmm. and you guys wanted to defund Obamacare the government shut down and the president says no way and I know you had a really nice meeting and you all like each other now and all the rest and you've stopped <laughs> you calling each other names yeah. okay but you stopped stopped. Putting words in okay, right. but you've stopped calling each other names but how do you get or is is defunding Obamacare off the table as part of the reopening of the government well, you know that we passed four resolutions out of the I House. I know. Okay, but you also know that the first resolution was a defund, and then and then we continued, you know, subsequent uh, resolutions, uh, a delay. Uh, we also sent uh, the the subsidy repeal for members of Congress. So I think you could see that we we began different attempts, okay, to uh, uh, to to affect uh, the health care bill. Uh, I, I'm pleased that uh, the president said, look, if we can have a discussion, uh, we're going to talk about parts that he uh, agrees. So it's not off the table. Obamacare well, in general is not off the table, but, but, but defunding it is. Well, I, let me say this. The one thing you don't do, the one thing you don't do uh, when you come away from a positive meeting is you, you, don't, you don't torpedo uh, those efforts. And so, you know, it, to be able to tell you, okay, hey, uh, this is what we discussed right. in that meeting, and this is going to be one of the topics that we're going to go through over the next, oh, tonight, okay, because we've agreed to stay throughout the evening and, and talk tomorrow. Uh, and I don't think that it's it's positive to take anything off the table. And the president met, uh, look, I, I, I think that he recognizes. He would think it was positive to take that off the table. <laughs> well, look, and, 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 and let me say this, and I think that the, you have to have an attitude of respect. And, and today, I think we had that. And, and we, would not, uh, uh, we would not commit to anything outside that working group that's, that's working right now as we speak. So. Now, I know that you want to respect the gentleman's agreement not to talk too much about what happened in the meeting, but, you know, we're reporters, so we can, we can tell you what we've heard from other sources. Sure. And, I, and I, my understanding is that, that it was, you know, we, we know it lasted for about a, a, an hour and a half, mm -hmm. and that the president was pretty emphatic that he wanted to reopen the government and start talking about that before the debt ceiling. Uh, extension, even the temporary one, and, and you all, led by John Boehner, were saying, you know, we've got to do the debt ceiling first, and we're sort of going round and round, and that there was a moment with his former rival, at least pre vice presidential rival, Paul Ryan, where it was sort of the eureka moment, where they all sort of decide, you all decided, okay, enough already, let's talk about talking, and that's when it led to the discussion about going back and trying to see if there is some possible way to reopen the government. Uh, with conditions. Well, I think uh, you even know, though the president I, says he won't do conditions. Look, the president uh, has been very clear uh, with with his beliefs, and I, and I think that Speaker Boehner and in our conference has been very clear with ours. But there there's always a moment I think when negotiations uh, get to a point where you feel like okay, you know maybe we we need to listen a little more. 
uh, and and when everybody comes back to the and to, that was the point. To, to, well, let me just say it was um, uh, the, you know Paul and the president certainly have a pass through the the last election, and I think there's a great respect between them, uh, and you can't make that up. It is, and it only comes because of the the path that they've they've traveled together, and so I think that the communication between Paul and the president. Um, I think was an important part of the conversation. Wait, can, can I ask a question? The, the, I still don't fully understand, given especially that the funding of the government idea, we're talking also about that being a short-term bill. It originally was just Correct. through November. Uh, I guess at this point it would, might extend into December, but it's still not a long-term government funding bill. Why is the government still being kept closed? I, I, I don't fully understand this. You have the president's attention. You have... I'm sure there's going to be some sort of discussion that comes out of this. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you have 800,000 furloughed workers. You have the memorials and the parks closed. You have uh, poor women who depend on nutrition uh, and, and formula through the WIC program. Military. That's it. We're about to hit, well, the, hit the wall on that. They're, they're, they're Jay, veterans yeah, and, but, but, but and GI clearly, bills. Look, y'all are smart people here, okay? And, and clearly, you've seen the bills that we've passed out I understand of the, house the piece on, a, on, a, on a bipartisan basis. So, uh, look, we've had Democrats join with us, and several of those bills the president has signed into law. So, uh, just today, the survivor benefit that he signed into law tonight. Uh, I think that's positive. So, uh, you know, to, to, to head start and, and the WIC program. But, but, but why keep the government closed? Why? If you're piecemeal refunding it, why not just open it? Well, right? look, we're having a longer discussion, and that was our third ask, that we would have a, you know, uh, 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 or, or excuse me, a, the, 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 the conferees on the budget. Uh, second ask, and the third ask would have a, uh, a discussion that I think should, should delve into some b even bigger issues, uh, long-term entitlement reform, tax reform. Uh, and we recognize that those are going to be long discussions. They're not going to be something that sure. we can solve mm -hmm. between now uh, you know, and, and when the government can open back up. Certainly but, not. Right. But one thing I want to be very clear is we talk about, uh, or do I need to, I hear music in my ear. <laughs> <Do> we need <laughs> to, uh, that thing that is it a be, birthday song? Thing, uh, are we going to sing happy birthday, happy birthday now? That thing Jake's you're going to be clear about? Here. Hold that yeah, thought. Yeah. Dana, Gloria. Yeah.